Greetings and salutations, everyone. I hope all of you are doing well and okay this evening or morning, depending on where you are currently at this time. Tonight, in case you weren't here yesterday to celebrate May 4th, may the 4th be with you, I decided to switch the schedule around, and I do apologize for those that were expecting me to play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order tonight, but instead, because of the circumstance surrounding yesterday, I decided to stream it yesterday. So there should be a video on demand on my channel right now if you wish to watch it. No worries. But tonight, we're going to go ahead and start playing the roguelike pixelated Lovecraft's Untold Stories. And we're going to see how that game is because I got it for free as a part of my Humble Choice membership through Humble Bundle, which... You can be referred to this link right here if you want more further details. Like, you can currently, at this point, if you sign up for a Humble Choice membership, you can save over $200 on the following games. Like Metro Exodus, like Hellpoint, like Darksiders Genesis, and so many other indie games that you may not have heard of and want to give it a try. And it's a good way to also give to charity, depending on how much you want to distribute when buying the game through the store. You can even save up to 20% off your Humble Choice purchase at any time with your membership. Plus, have access to 80 plus DRM free games with that membership as well. So you don't have to worry about being online in order to actually play the games, which is kind of nice. Not a whole lot of storefronts do that, except for maybe itch.io and gog.com nowadays. So, with that out of the way, speaking of which, let's get this game up and running and hopefully everything goes fine. Please feel free to let me know if my audio quality is too loud or too quiet, and I can most certainly adjust volume at any part of the time. And... Same goes for the video quality as well. If the game seems to be lagging for any reason, you are more than welcome to let me know because oftentimes what I may be seeing may be entirely different on the streaming side of things. So you are more melt bleh, more than bleh, no <laughs> sorry. Ooh, it was like a mix between a hiccup and a burp there for a moment. Ah, excuse me. But you are more than welcome to notify me if anything seems to be off with the stream inside of things. Because I wouldn't get mad. I want everyone to have hopefully the best quality uh, that I can dish out in regards to everything going on. Hey, Flick on Twitch. Greetings and salutations to you. Hope you are doing well. Thank you for stopping by. As now, I'm going to get the game up and running and we're going to switch over to the main layout here momentarily soon. I've been doing okay, honestly. I hope you've been doing the same as well. Nothing too extraneous on my heart. Nothing too simple either, which is fine. Most certainly fine. Yeah, thank you very kindly. I just recently changed it on the 17th of April, so it is quite new indeed. So much obliged. I'm glad you enjoy it. In fact, I think a lot of individuals actually prefer this name over the last one, and it's a good change of pace, most certainly. Same look, just a new title. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the game. And we'll switch over to the other chat. Three, two, one. Alright, let's see if this pops up then. Okay. Ooh, cinematics. Here we go. Oh, hold on here. I noticed the audio wasn't really going here, so I'm gonna turn that up just slightly. Let me feel free to let me know if the audio quality of the game itself is happens to be too loud as we continue onward. Earth is adrift in a mysterious and limitless cosmos to which mankind is as ignorant. Oh, I think they're going a little bit fast here.
Oh yeah, I just noticed that it just cut off there. That's maybe it's because I paused it there for a moment. That might have been the reason why it was like it just cut off the audio. I noticed that the uh, subtitles were going much. I because it wasn't that case when I was opening up to test it out earlier. So, Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Let's. Ah, uh, wait. Now we don't have to look at the credits quite yet. Let's look at options. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Yep, it's on English. Yeah, it's the United Kingdom flag. Nice, okay. Controls. Okay. Graphics. What do we got here? Okay. And sound. Okay. I think that's decent enough from the looks of it. It seems quite limited, but hopefully that will be just fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and start on the new game. How's the audio on the game? Is it too loud or is it too quiet? Is my voice too loud or too quiet? You are more than welcome to let me know in the chat. Just to verify and make sure that everything is comfortable on the ears. Oh, good. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know, Flick, on Twitch. Alright. Might as well get started. This is my very first time playing this roguelike game. So, we're gonna have to see how it is. New... Uh, oh, <laughs> well, there he is. There's Lovecraft. Uh, regardless of controversy, he has made some quite nefarious creatures. For novice story collectors who have played similar games and would like to prevent the Great Old Ones from winning despite all of their horrors. Yeah. Let's see how a pixelated version of H.P. Lovecraft stories come into play. I'm kind of interested because normally we always seem so powerless to really stop the great old ones like Cthulhu and all that. So it's supposed to have combat. So hopefully I'm not too overpowered. That's the one thing I'm kind of concerned with. Hopefully I'm not too overpowered to actually thwart off all of these creatures that I cannot fully comprehend. And just to make things easy, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick normal. Because who knows what kind of challenge this game has. Okay, so we... Oh, so... Looks like we can unlock different characters. Okay. So first we have... Detective John Murphy. A hard-bitten private eye, Murphy hails from New Orleans Police Department, where he served under the celebrated Inspector Lagrasse. Murphy is tough, straight-talking, and has a keen eye for facts and targets. Lagrasse has a profound effect on Murphy. It wasn't just the art of detection Murphy learned from the old man. Yeah, normally that is the case when it comes to normal difficulty. I would like to play it just on normal, and if I happen to get the hang of things, or just play the game I want to... See if I can enact another challenge. Normally I go for the harder difficulties. So yeah, that's normally how I start off a new fresh game. Oftentimes, just go with, yeah, normal difficulty. Not easy, because I don't want to be that pampered too, but normal. Seems like my main difficulty to go with. So where was I here? Oh yes, here we go, here we go. In Lagrasse, he found the father figure he always lacked. When Lagrasse returned from St. Louis pale and withdrawn, after attending, of all things, the American Archaeological Society annual meeting, and suddenly retired, it so rocked Murphy, he also handed in this notice. Unwilling to work under anyone else, Murphy set up his own PI firm. On his desk, Detective Murphy keeps the exquisitely crafted Gorgon statue Lagrasse left him as a parting gift. All right. So it looks like d this detective is the only player that I can pick. So I must unlock all the characters if I get far to a certain point. I wonder who the next one would be, but... Well, guess we'll pick John Murphy. So, here we go. You retire out of the blue. There's no contact for months, and then there's just a telegram reading. Murphy, stop. Chateau Hill, Massachusetts, stop. Bring gun, stop. Urgent help needed, stop. Bayo Colt, stop. Well, I'm always here, help. Ah! You know what? It's a little bit loud on my part, so let me do this real quick. It was just getting the water effects at least seemed a bit too 
prevalent on my end. So I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. And we'll see how that does it. Feel free to let me know if that happens to be too quiet now here too. Okay, so I figures as much. Okay, okay. Alright. Anything else that I need to know? Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, not bad. The pixel style actually looks kind of good right now. It's got a nice amount of detail, especially with the trees and how they sway in the wind. Okay. What do we have here? We got the telegram. Oh, yeah, a gargoyle right on the top. That gives me a good old vibe there. Okay, let's see. I don't have the right items, huh? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the mini-map right there. Okay. Let's continue onward. Let's see here. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, interact. There's a pile of cigarette filters here. Lagrasse's brand. Ah, move on. Alright, we got that. So now, where do we go from here? Let's see. Do I shoot right here, or... Nope. Hmm. Might have to look at the instructions again, just to see. Okay. Oh, here. Let's go over here, then. Yeah. Let's see. Go up. Hit. Ah. There we go. So we just have to hit. No, don't use your ammo like that so carelessly. Oh, what's this? This is Lagrade's old detective notebook. He must have kept it when he retired. The pages have been torn out. Okay. Treasure, treasure. Okay, let's, uh, might as well kick that. Nope. Oh, what's this? Ah, malt, a cocktail. And I think I use C for that. TNT. There we go. Do we open up this one? Nope. Do we hit it? There we go. Jeez, whoa! You are powerhouse there! Oh, TNT. Damn, I didn't think you could uh, hit all these boxes with just finesse. Okay. Let's see. Oh, looks like what do we got over here? All right, what do we got? The corpse of one of a member of one of the... Wait, ha, ha, does this sentence have th four, four <laughs> instances of of? The corpse of one of a member of one of the secret society. This sentence needed to be proofread. Yeah, this, this sentence right here, uh-uh. Too many ofs. Too many ofs. I'm already getting a headache from reading it here. The corpse of a member of a secret society or cult I've been encountering. Yeah. So yeah, that could have been the way that you could have gone about that sentence. I mean, I wouldn't say that my improv sentence would have been 100% like grammar proof. But yeah. Whew. That was kind of rough. We shall undress him. The tongue has been split down the middle. Several teeth have been filed. The finger and toenails have been removed and cauterized. There's been a crudely performed partial castration. The navel has been sewn shut. And the nipples have been removed. <gasps> Who? The nipples have been removed! Um. 
Has Silverfell's party from uh, Arcadum's D&D been around here? Because if you're not aware, Arcadum had the group of VTubers with Melody, Iron Mouse, Silverfell, Bunny Gif, Momo, and who was the last one? Now, Centrea. They were in the campaign called Death and Debts and Stealers of Silence. Yep, removed. And in their campaign, they were notorious for always removing the nipples of their foes. <laughs> and so this picture just reminds me of this instance. So, I don't know if anyone in here is, you know, familiar. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is most gruesome. I, I mean, phew. At least knowing this would make them easier to spot in the future. Okay, so we got some information. Ooh, we got a key. All right. Yep. Why am I not surprised it's going to be this gruesome here? Okay. Several steps of footprints. I'm sure there was a struggle here. This doesn't look good. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh, time to throw some explosives. Uh, wrong way, you nincompoop. No, you bloody nincompoop. Straight ahead. Oh, come on. Straight ahead now. There. Bloody hell, I wasted three of them for that reason. And there you are inside. You are enveloped by the twilight and the smell of old furniture. The walls of this old mansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets, and only distant rustles and your heartbeat are audible. Okay. Alright, what do we got in here then? Oh, is that chocolate? Nice. Oh, not bad. A lot of items there. So we got chocolate, we got... We got bandages for health. Quite a few things, actually. Okay, so let's see. Let's look around a little bit more and see what else is in here. Can we interact with those candles? Nope. What about this? Jeez, I'm strong enough to shadow statues? Bloody hell, how tough am I? How much have I been lifting as of late? Can I sit? Okay, let's look through these doors. Ah, okay. Ooh, what do we got? Alright. The Almanac of Occultism. Okay. Oh. So. History of Ancient Cults. Oh, and what's this? Oh, that's... Let's see, what else? So it looks like an armory here. Ooh. What's with this little puddle here? Is that like a little group of slime? Is a blob gonna come out of there? Jeez! These must be some very brittle statues if I'm able to... ...basically make them collapse so easily. Alright, let's go through this doorway. Oh, hello. Oh, nope. Oh, hope. Oh, hope. Oh, hope. Oh, hope. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh oh. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh, ho, ho! That's a little bit cautious there. Ooh, I got a little bit too carried away in the good old fashioned, uh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. I need to. Hold on here. I. Need to use, yep, use this. There we go. Bandage effect. And what's this? Antidote. Don't have anything poisonous, so. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, that was my first time with combat. It didn't really exactly go as according to plan, but I guess I was so spooked that I part of the scream moved on me. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Ah, uh, we can't pick up the weapons! Oh, we can look in here, though. The al- okay. More Alchemax. Oh. Okay. Ooh, good. Med kit. Okay. Let's see. 
We definitely could probably use the med kit here. Uh, let's see. Uh, do do do. Okay. There we go. Okay, it looks like it gradually does so. Okay. Got it. All right. Lovely then. Let's take a look around and some more here. Okay. Hmm. Well, nice a nice little glimmer there. Okay, let's go up here. I have failed you, master. Okay. We gotta stop the bleeding. So use this. There we go. Okay. Not too bad. I guess I should use more explosives. Useless if you don't want to study the history of the ancient cults of mankind. Okay. So I'll worry about dropping those a little bit later. Let's see what else we got around here. Do we... Oh, doesn't look like I can get up from there. All right. Anything else around here that might be of interest? Just as long as you don't make those explode or else you'll basically go boom. Okay. Here we go. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. All right. So, let's, uh, guess we have no choice but to use this. Ugh, already I already depleted all the health options I have. Woo. Not good. Okay, so. Can we? Oh, hold on. Seems that this lock can only be opened with a special key. And I do not have that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can even fist the candles so lights away. Alright, here we go. What do we got? Up. Oh. oh. Come on. There we go. Oh, you don't understand if it's RPG or platformer. It's more like an action sort of roguelike game. I think all of these are randomly generated. You could say that it has some RPG mechanics, perhaps. But, but I don't... It might not be either one of those. Jeez, good thing I have uh, basically good... It does have that pixelated RPG feel to it. I can't deny- oh, wait. Come on. Yes, chocolate! And first aid kit. Yep, randomly generated. I'm thinking that's what I heard. Where each room is supposed to be different in each, uh, playthrough you go through it. Kind of like the Binder of Isaac or Hades or... I think even the recently released PS5 game Recturnal. Alright. Anything in here? Okay. Ooh. Is that the old one? This idol has a head with the form of an octopus. Odd. Nope, it's not odd. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Hmm. How's my... I guess it didn't really depict my sanity level yet. Bloody key. I wonder if that can be used for that treasure chest I just saw. They are covered with Lagras nuns. I can make out Chateau Hill, built around the stone circle by Lafitte's outcasts. Okay. Alright, let's go back and see if this... Let's see if this can be used on this chest. Uh, where's the key? Okay. There we go. Oh. It didn't work. Right? Oh, it didn't work at all. Ah. Uh, mm, maybe it was something with a yellow goldish lock. That can only open it. Perhaps that's the reason why it didn't work. Okay. So let's go ahead and go this way. Alright, let's see. Over here, huh? Gracious. 
This is a perfect little model of this very area. With a little model of me in there too. <gasps> it's like they expected you here in the first place. Hmm. Yeah, since I'm a detective, I might as well go with the detective route. I should put my hand in and knock some stuff over. Ooh. Alright. Hopefully that uh, leads to good fortune. Bronze key. Okay. Let's continue onward then. Ooh, it's, is that a man-eating plant? There's a plant over here, just like a Venus flying trap, but much larger jaws. Uh, I should tease it with my finger. Oh, it bit me! Then the damn thing suck started sucking on my thumb. Oh, yeah, I I'm an idiot for that. I am an idiot for that. So, use, please. And let's have some, uh... Well, no, let's not use the chocolate if it... Okay. We'll use this then. There we go. Cursed the plant. I thought you were going to be friendly even though you had such sharp jaws. Blech. All right, what else do we got around here? Anything of worth? Got like mini guns here and all that. Okay, here we go. Up, oh, more occultists. Oh! Well, okay then. <laughs> I don't Did I run into an explosive? <laughs> well, it worked in my favor then. All right. Here we go. That was probably the easiest encounter that I've had so far. All right. Let's see. Now. Okay, so. Okay, so now I'm back out here. Where I was in the beginning. Hey. There we go. There we go. Alright. Mm, should I go back up here? Or should I start exploring this way? Let's go this way. Since I'm over here. Up. Oh. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Nope. He was the only cult member in that facility. Thank you. Can I hit you? Nope. Oh, not this time, huh? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Treasure. Ooh, nice. Nothing wrong with treasure. All right. Let's go out this way. Oh, hi. This looks uh invigorating. Nice uh Nice, uh, bloody stars on the ground. A nice little mess you got here. Are, were we worshipping this creature? There's something very disturbing about this statue. No bloody shit! Well, since you're a detective, why don't you search it? There's an artist's name carved in the base. Daniel Morris. Have I read that name somewhere before? Possibly in the introduction, I'm thinking. All right. We got some information. That's always nice. Always grand. All right. Let's go this way then. Hmm. Are these knights going to come alive? And There's a lot of these women bodies, aren't there? Hmm. All right. What's over here then? A set of medieval period European armor. Let's go ahead and examine. It's engraved with the words La Amore Sacre de Frere Lambroski Vans. I am horrible at this language, so so please forgive me if I mispronounce any of these words. Avancu la Batin la Aru Afrange Liberam la Terre und Flaun Motorea. I butchered that language completely. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's a lot of information. Damn. Good job. You're you're assembling quite the amount of info needed in this. Oh, and the eyes are bleeding. Or the eyes are glowing red. I can't really tell. You're not going to come alive and try to seize my soul, are you? 
Well, too bad. I'm going away. Alright, so. I haven't gone up yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. Was that something in particular? Oh, I don't... That was what it was. Okay. Okay, first aid kit. A decrepit-looking boiler. It doesn't seem very safe. Let's open it and check inside! When I opened it for a split second, I heard what I thought was a scream. But maybe it was just a hiss of steam. Oh, no. There are the charred remains of human hand bones still clasped together as if in prayer. What happened here? Uh-oh. Lost part of my sanity. It's time for some chocolate. Chocolate always calms me down. Yay. Okay. Chocolate always makes things go better. At least I hope so. Okay, he's still a little bit insane. But at least we had chocolate. Alright, so now. Let's go this way now. Alright, so... Oh, this way! I haven't gone over this way yet. Hmm, okay... What do we got around here? Not a whole lot of, from the looks of it. Anything over here that I can... Ooh, treasure! Okay, do I... Okay, so I have already been over here already. Yep, I have. Okay, so we'll go up. Do, do, do. What do we have over here? A desk. We got some items. Aurora and fire. Usually I find these comforting, but there's something hungry about this blaze. Well, since I'm a detective, might as well search the ashes. This fireplace appears to have been used to burn documents. I can't make more. Yeah. I can't make much out from the fragments of paper, but there are a few names and locations of which might help in my investigation. I'll make a note of it. Jeez, you're just uh, going to town with this entire situation. You're locking so many possibilities. All right, so where have I not been yet? Okay. So I haven't gone down there yet, so maybe I'll retreat down there and see what's lying over there. Here we go. Do 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 do. It definitely has a good ambiance to this game, that's for sure. Ooh, okay. So it's a silver lock. I do not have a silver key. Okay, so back then. So it looks like I'm gonna have to come back a little bit later. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay. Uh, use a, uh... Okay. Oh! Oh, shoot! I can't move! Oh, no! I couldn't move! Ah, uh, well, that was, okay, so it's a little bit tricky to basically use items while, because they're still moving. It doesn't pause the game at all. Okay, that's a good thing to know. Well, all right. Let's see, do I restart? Uh, let's go ahead and restart. I, let's see if it's randomly generated now, in this case. Let's see if it does look different. Or I could have been mistaken. Hmm. Okay. Oh, see? The items are different. Okay, so the items are definitely different. I did not get an iron key the last time I was doing this. Okay. Figured as much. Okay. Hey! Hello there, Zebrinova! 
Did I pronounce your name correctly? I always feel like I'm butchering it to hell and high water. But greetings and salutation, raiders. Welcome. I am Cuddly Muffin Top. And I paused the music a little bit. And hope your stream was well. And let's see here. I'll give you a quick shout out here in the meantime. Salutations, salutations. Almost. Almost. Ah. Uh, curses! I'm always bad with names. I'm always bad with pronunciating names, but there you go. You were playing Genshin Impact. How was that, by the way? Hopefully you didn't have to spend a lot of money in order to get those grand characters, but hopefully it was a good time. And Slow Life Ket. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, Nova. Pain. A lot of pain. I'm sorry to hear that in the meantime. Oh. I gotta re remember how to pronounce your name in the near future because we... Because we gotta have some good old times together in the near future. But here I am playing Lovecraft's untold stories. No money. Oh, I see, I see. No money. Well, I guess that could be considered maybe a little bit of a good thing. So that way you... If you wasted money on something that... Almost nobody gets my name right on the first try. Ah. Uh, hmm. So, if you want me to remember your name for future renditions, you can feel free because I'm always horrible in when it comes to pronunciating people's names. Feel free to, uh, sh showcase in the chat how you would pronounce it. So that way I can hopefully remember for next time. Because even with English words, I am terrible. And that's coming from someone who took speech lessons for a good chunk of his childhood. Not much exchanged. But yeah. Want to see me die from some occult members? Hello. Hello. Uh, come back over here. There we go. Slow leith. So leith. Slow leith. Okay. Oh. I don't know if I was even close with that. Oh. If I wasn't, I, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry about that. You had it on the first one. Oh, good. Oh, okay. That's a relief. Thank you. Thank you kindly for that. Thank you kindly. All right. Let's look over all of this in the meantime. We got some more treasure. More darkness. A small handmade cloth, though. Okay, so this is randomly generated. None of this was in my first playthrough of this mansion, so nice. A small handmade cloth doll wearing stitched clothes which look just like mine. <gasps> You're looking ugly, but also it's kind of cute. There's a set of beautiful hand-carved pins next to it, and a little gap in the doll's seams with some stuffing poking out. Hmm. Do I do any of these tasks? Well, I'm not a detective for any of these, so I wonder which option would be the best. Wait, do I even have any pins with me? I don't think I have any pins. Well, I'm gonna try it. Oh! My side! Well, bloody hell. A little bit of damage. It was like a voodoo doll then. Yay. Look how strong I am. Look how buff. I got a whole statue crumbling between my feet. I actually have feet. Are those ashes? All right, here we go. All right, what do we got in here? Chocolate! Apparently chocolate calms your nerves and make you less insane. Oh, yes. Now I remember this one. It's the motto of this very area with the motto of me in there. So, I shall be a detective. There we go. We got some information. Lovely. So, it is randomly generated. Okay. Because this was in a very different location when I was trying to play through this mansion the first time. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. All right, then. Lo -de -de -do. Let's go straight ahead next. See what's uh, lying over here. 
Well, looks like I'm still clear here. No monsters in sight. At least not yet. WHO WRECKED THIS PERFECTLY FINE COUCH?! THAT I CAN'T EVEN SIT ON?! BOULDER DASH! Sorry if that was too loud. I can always turn down the volume if I, that happens to peak a bit too much. Let's see here. Let's go down below. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, more information. We got more info. We got bandages and history of ancient cults. Book titled The King in Yellow. There's a thin book here titled The King in Yellow. Uh, I should leave it alone. There we go. Probably someone else exploring this mansion will probably... Another wrecked couch! I am furious. How dare they! Oh, hello, friend. We shall search it. Yep, Daniel Morris. That was what it was the last time. Get some information. And even the walls. See, not even the walls are safe. All right, let's go up. Ooh, is that a... A fan up there? Oh, it's one of my only fans. <laughs> not in relation to the... Uh, uh, the site, mind you, but, uh, a different type of context. Yes, yes, that's what I mean. It, it's always- And it had to be of a naked woman! Oh, bloody hell! Why did I have to make the reference of an only fan when it was a naked woman with a geisha face paint and black hair holding a fan up her entire face apart from her eyes? Ah! It can articulate, though. Do we articulate anything? Or should we just leave it alone? Bloody hell, I'm just gonna do something. As I move the arm holding the fan away. Up, oh, too late. <laughs> too late. The doll swells and contorts in my hand. Oh, a second one. Isn't he like a five star? So, can you utilize that second one in order to maybe bolster the original one's stats in any way? Maybe make him have experience points or better his skills? Some games to that degree does allow for that, but I'm not sure about any if that game in particular. Okay, it's a pity though. Yeah, and sometimes you always think like, oh, I'm not gonna get another one of this particular character. And then like seconds later, on a single polar, two big PP instead of one. Oh, Cortosum has been small and pulpy, spreading like a diseased tumor, reeking of sweat and blood to throw it to the floor and stamp on it. Oh, great. I lost part of my sanity, but I do have chocolate. You can use chocolate to calm the nerves. And there we go. Apparently, yes. Upgraded skill. Lovely. Good to hear. And now the woman is on the ground because they tried to attack me. Naughty, naughty, naughty. That's what I get. That's what I get for not leaving it alone. What? I like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has a, uh, well, as long as you don't overdo it on the dark chocolate. Uh, milk chocolate can be a bit too sweet for me, which is why I kind of like dark chocolate. Okay. Yep, the idol has the form of an octopus. Notes for me. Alright, so what else do we got around here? Mm, let's go this way. See what we got. Mm. Here's an album of photographs. I will leaf through it. It's bound in soft leather, with pond family embossed on the front. The first photograph I see is the stage sepia image of a rather charming-looking family, consisting of a young man with somewhat nautical clothing and a demeanor, a pretty young wife, and two little children. Leafing through the pages is like a journey through the family's history. Oh dear, it seems the young mother is unwell. Her skin changes over time, and her posture hunches. <gasps> She's becoming Quasimodo! 
Nothing wrong with that, but it could be bad for her health. Lee threw it. Oh, Lord. His wife's ill fortune seems to be taking a terrible toll on the sailor. He now poses far away from her and the look in his eye. The children are now young adults, but they too have changed. An inherited condition, perhaps. Oh, no. I like how the description basically, when he's reading through these, is like, Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry if that peaked a little bit too much. Feel free to let me know if it did, and I can always turn down my volume here. As reached the last few images, the wife has vanished, probably dead of a disease, and the children... The last photograph shows the man slumped in a chair. The buttons of his shirt mismatched, a bottle of rum opened behind him. Only one of his children is in the, this image, and the young man has already lost both of his ears. Whatever reflection visited this poor family, I hope I never see it firsthand. Yay! Darn it! Part of my sanity is gone now because I was too curious. Ooh, treasure. Alright, so let's see. Looks like I've already been on this path before. Yep. That I have. Okay. Let's go up. Up. Hmm, there's a couple of things in here. Oh, I already got through these. They are, yep, I remember that. And, yep, move on. No, stop going top gun ho. Okay, there you do. A silver octopus head. Oh, how charming. All right, let's go this way. She's no enemies yet. It has been a while since I encountered any. All right, a lot of almanacs, that is for sure, though. And atlases. There's a sheet of paper here, what seems to be a strange painting of ink splattered on it. To me, it looks like... It looks like an ink splatter. Hmm. <laughs> uh... Looks like an object. Looks like something normal. It's so nice to see something normal. Yay! I made a good choice there. Yay! Good job, good job. Alright, here we go. Alright, what else do we got around here that can be fiddled with? The grass's handwriting covers these pages. I can make out Castro and his followers aren't accepted uh, by the Baratarians of the Bayou. They call them Shushu. Insult? Not sure. Not sure if that's an insult. No must Ooh, what do we got? More atlases. Not sure if I really care much for that. A lot of almanacs, that is for sure. Okay. What else do we got around here that might be uh, worth? Oh! Let's see. This door of heavy stone slabs has holes cut in it, in the shape of an anchor and some kind of octopus. Maybe these are keys. Uh, I know this one, I think. Oh. Guess that didn't work. Okay. Okay, let's pick that. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that there for right now, because I know that should probably go with it. So let's continue onward. Over here. Up. Oh, we got some demons. Oh, hello. There we go. There we go. Whew. Demons. There we go. Jeez, that, did that demon already die? That wasn't much of a threat at all. Come on! You're supposed to be unfathomable demons. You're supposed to be ones that I cannot fully comprehend. And yet I killed you within three shotgun shells. Hmm. Something is amiss. Oop, a bloody key. Nice. Alright, let's see. What else do we got around here? Barrels. 
Alright, where should I go now? Probably... Let's go this way. Oh, look at that! Hello there! How are you doing there with all your lovely tentacles? I hope you are doing well. Looks like this is a... The idol has a... Yep, yep. Not odd at all. Not odd at all. No, no, no. U.S. Army Identification Badges. Yegg's Favor. Hmm. Alright, so. Let's maybe go up. What do we got? Okay. There we go. We got an arm! Swell! Okay. A lot of bloody marks here. There's a small mirror hanging there. Looking into it, I could see that. Hmm. It's just me. Despite all that's happened, it may still happen. I'm still just me. Yay! Huzzah! I made the right call there. Got some silver keys. Silver bracelets and silver danglings. Alright. Got a lot of treasure. Oh yes, I remember this bloody plant. I'm not making the same mistake. I know what you did. Like a Phoenix flytrap with Mark. I'm gonna leave you. It's bad for flytraps to be teased. You're damn right. I learned my lesson. Alright. Let's go this way now. Ooh! An incongruous statue of a kneeling woman as she was protecting herself from her attackers. Take a closer look. She looks terrified. It's unnervingly realistic, like a tiny three-dimensional photograph. The proportions are perfect. When I get very close, I could swear I could feel her shallow breath on my skin. Lovely. Terrifying, but lovely. Alright, let's see here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, for a moment I thought there was something. Okay. Oh, yep, I remember this part. Okay. A set of medieval period European armor. We shall examine it. I'm not even going to try and butcher those words again. Oh, look! Your eyes are glowing red again. Please be gentle. Ooh, we got a cage. Oh my, a hummingbird in the cage. I don't have time for this. Screw you, hummingbird. Do, 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 do. Jeez, we got a lot of treasure here. 22 info, and that looks to be it. Let's go over here. There's a golden tiara lying here. Uh, let's examine it. I say it was solid gold were it not so light and lustrous. Tall in front, it seems to be made for a freakishly large and round head. <gasps> like mine! <laughs> it has striking and puzzlingly beautiful patterns. Some simply geometrical and some plainly marine. Okay. There we go. We got a lot of money for that. Huzzah! Yeah, I haven't really encountered a whole lot of demons as of late. Or cult members. Okay, let's see. We will search the ashes. Yep. The burned documents. So much treasure to be have. Hmm, let's go down and see what happens. Uh, do 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 Pillaging, pillaging the cabinets. Yeah, de de do 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 do. Okay, we're back down here. So let's uh, go up then. Hmm. Okay, this is a singular room. All right. Book. Ah. Thank you. All right, what else? Is that it? Okay, fair enough. That seems good enough. All right, let's go back up here. 
And we'll go back to the areas in which I have not traversed yet. This way. Up, oh, more cult members. There we go. There we go. Up, oh, I'm bleeding. Better take care of that. There we go. All right. Looks good. All right. And let's go back. Okay. Pillage this. Got some more chocolate. Hit this. Thank you. Okay, we are going. So we'll go this way since I've already been up there. Oh. Uh, yeah, this looks uh, quite dangerous. I bet those are good old spikes. Inventory is full. Ah, dang it. Okay. Let me look through my inventory then. Hmm. I'm going to drop the Atlas of the Ancient World because I don't really need that. So, okay, let's go ahead and there we go. Hmm, now let's see. Can I... Aha! Nice. There we go. Very nice. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Watch me now. Watch me! <laughs> yeah. Alright. Mm, let's go this way. Alright. Oh, here's this again. Whoa, open and check inside. Yep. Oh, lost my part of my sanity here, so let's go ahead and have some chocolate! Give me the chocolate. There we go. And maybe more chocolate, please. There we go. Ah, chocolate. Always good for regained insanity. So if you ever feeling insane, go for a bar of chocolate. So says this game. All right, let's go down here. Up. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks like I'm bleeding again. Oh, did I do anything? Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, and use. There we go. We'll use... Okay, where's the smaller health packs? This one. Here we go. Use that. There. Now we're back in business there. All right. So what do we have around here that might be worth something? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. Okay, let's go over here. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Time to uh, put back on some more bandages. And then we'll take a... Mm. There we go. There. Now I'm using my health. Now I'm using my items here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Nothing here. Book in an unknown language. Sassy. Okay, so I've already been up there. So I'm just going to go over here then. And down below. What do we got here? Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'll go over this way. Oh, more carp beamers. Hello. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and use a bandage again, and another one of these small ones. There we go. Something tells me this game is getting a bit too simple. And I put it on normal mode, of all things. Well, I could be uh, talking too soon here. In that regard, 
Here we go. Anything else? Nope. Looks like I'll go straight up. Oh, hello. That was simple. Do I have the key? Okay. Doesn't look like I have the key for this chest. So I'll have to come back later. See if I can grab it. Okay, and there we go. Uh, at least I don't run out of bullets. That's a nice feature. Gimme, 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 gimme. And gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme all your succulent things. Okay. Oh, I should probably use more of my uh, explosives. Okay, so let's look at the map. Okay, so... All right, so what we'll have to do next is, okay, let's go back down over here. Oh, did I look through there? Nope. There we go. And I knock it flat on his bloody face. Okay. So it was down further here. All right, here we go. Papers covered and okay, move on. More information. Inventory is full. Oh, that's the anchor. That's the anchor right there. Okay. Let's see. What don't I need? We can drop this. And I can drop that as well. And this and that. We'll drop all of that in the meantime. And now, there we go. I need that silver anchor for uh, the other part of that puzzle. Let's see, what else do we got around here? A newspaper page wet with blood. I shall examine it. It's soaked, the print is hard to make out. Declaration, the governor of New York has released this statement. The laws prohibiting suicide and providing punishment for any attempt at self-destruction have been repelled. The governor has seen fit to acknowledge the right of man to end an existence which may have become intolerable to him through physical suffering or mental despair. Oh, thank you for stopping by the slow... Ugh. Okay, I got a picture in my mind. The best way to pronounce your name and what, what I show. Slow life. S slow live. Ah! Why did I already forget? Oh, I don't look up my chat. I'll look up my chat. Slow live. Ugh. Why am I so? Why is it so hard for me to pronounce words, even when the description is right there? I'm terribly sorry. I hope to get your name more correct the next time here. But until then, thank you for ever so much for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful evening or morning, depending on where you are. And hope you do take care. Ugh. It's lit. But with an H. Lit. Okay. I hope that helps. I think it did help me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you kindly for that. Thank you so much. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of information. Hmm. Okay. So, what other areas have I not explored yet? Oh, I think that's it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So, we'll just have to go back to where I was prior. What's the shortest way to do that? Uh... I guess there really isn't a short way, so we'll just have to... Just go up to the top. Wait. What? Oh, I didn't mean to use that up. Ah, uh, okay then. Alrighty. I guess I will take that into consideration. Wait, do I have any keys? Let me look at my items here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll just go away. Nope, nope, nope. No, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything to you there. Yup, 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 yup. Almost there. Almost got it here. 
All right, here we go. Back, good. Go back, pick that up, and and open. There we go. Well, hello there. Oh, hello. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ooh, it's like bullet hell. Uh, are you done? Oh, I clicked off the screen there for a moment. Stop! Stop it! Oh, I blew myself up! Ah! Uh, uh, bloody hell. I was so close. That stinks. And there are secret rooms to be had in this game, huh? Alright, let's go to the main menu. Maybe... Alright, let's see. Does that awaken the new... No, it does not. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, do we have to start over from the beginning? Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, okay. We all might as well do it. Oh, wait! Oh, good! It brings me back here! Nice! Alright, here we go. Good. Hey! Okay. Oh. Well, I burned myself alive! <laughs> uh, main menu, please. <laughs> Okay, word of advice, do not throw explosive items near to your location. Uh, they will most certainly kill you and make you burn. That is a lesson that I would like to put on my gravestone. There we go. Okay, let's see. Ah! Okay, I need to do a bit better dodging. Killed by acid. Okay. I need to do better dodging on that. Okay, so let's continue again. Ah, I gotta get so much better. My, my skills are being tested. And I feel like I'm failing very horrendously. All right, here we go. Oh, come on now. Ah, sure. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We did it. Yay. Huzzah. We killed it. All right. Let's go over here. Le Grasse. There are more pages of his notebook stuffed in his mouth. I can make out references to more stone circles like this one in various areas around the entire Americas. Also a reference to the Miskatonic University. The names Professor Lake and Professor Armitage, in's mouth underlined, and the rest is soaking my friend's blood. You found new information on the great old ones, notes of Lagrasse. Okay. Okay, place that and open. 
Okay, there we go. All right, now we are going to chapter two. Either you're dreaming or time and space have become mockeries. Your head swims frightfully. Even though there are no visible objects in the unbroken gloom to swirl around you, then, in the far distance, a pinpoint of light expands. The pressure of Earth meets your feet, and you feel gravity pull on you again. The hair on the back of your neck stands up, and you find yourself in a room in which everything seems designed by someone who knows its purpose, but has never once used it. Swell. So, oh, uh, you have found new information about the great old ones. Check the board with the evidences. Now you have more information about the great ones. Your chances of victory has increased. Well, nice then. Very nice. You can st see the information in the asylum store by these characters. Let's see. Only for the professor. A clever explosive device triggered by pressure deals acid damage over time. A tiny hollow vein adds partial protection against poison damage. And a mysterious liquid in the atomizer. Things become invisible. Only for the thief. Throwing knife grease with a potent poison. Teleports to, to a safe random place. Engraved with the name Daniel Morris. You get a feeling of invulnerability when you touch them. Only for the detective, the same as the hunting rifle, only better. Increases fire and reload speed, okay. Only for the detective, the best way to th blow things up. Clip. Okay, so these are different items that you can use throughout the journey. Oh, jeez, that's a, not a bad amount. Not a bad amount at all. Let's see here. Alright, so... We got 15% on Dagon, we got 15% on Cthulhu, we got 5% on Azathoth, but nothing else for the others. Okay, fair enough. A skeleton dressed with old and decayed clothes and covered in cobwebs and dust. Looks like he's been here for a long, long, long... time <laughs> oh my god this could not be these clothes this is me oh whoa okay so uh wow i died of sanity loss okay that's, um... Okay, don't do that again. <laughs> Gee, bloody hell. Okay. Here we go. Downward. Hey, Luxing, greetings and salutations to you. Hope you're doing well in the meantime. Uh, let's see here. Up. Oh. Alright, let's see. Can probably store all of this treasure. Okay. Is that all the treasure I have? We can store that as well. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think that's about good as we can get for these items. Okay. Scan complete. I feel safe now. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, look at that. A lovely symbol on the ground. Is that a good old pentagram or something else entirely? Okay, so don't go to that. Don't go to that, please. 
Okay, so let's see. Mm. All right. So let's see. Stop wasting bullets. Stop it. Wait, do I have to interact with that? Ah, here we go. There. Yes. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Oh, what's this over here? We got some lights, camera, action, and all that jazz. Bum 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 be do dum bum bum. Ooh, it's the heavenly light. Uh oh, what did I do? Up, oh, something's appearing. Ooh. Oh, that's uh. I guess we can just go ahead and. Go in here. A hospital much like any other in appearance, but there's an uncanny chill to the white of the walls, and the cleanlessness seems deceptive. You feel as though if you ran a finger under any surface that you find clotted blood, festering out of sight and out of mind. Charming! Okay, so let's see now. What do we got around here? Okay. Ooh, hip bones. Let's go over this way. Ooh. Ho oh, ho ho, don't don't see me now. Ooh. Okay, we got a bronze key. Do we evaluate the body? No? Okay, then I'm going down. Hmm, let's go over here now. Anything that oh, over here, there's what appears to be a bee sting, but it's the size of my hand. Uh, examine it. It does look like the sting of a very large insect that appears to be hollow. Well, I shall leave it then. Okay, let's uh, continue onward. Wee. Alright, what else do we got around here? Is that... Is that like toxic waste? A torn degree certificate in medieval metaphysics from Arkham University. Odd. How did this get here? The University of Arkham hereby awards Astatath Waite an honors degree in medieval metaphysics. Summa cum laude. Okay. Cum laude of it. Okay. Anything we can do here? Nope. Let's continue on with then. Okay, I'll go this way next. Here we go. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's a whole... Oh, what's this? There's a syringe here filled with a cloudy liquid. Mother's milk is scratched on the side. Well, okay, mother's milk, huh? Hmm. Are you... Are you sure about that? Are you positively certain that that is the mother's milk and not someone else's milk? Could be a milk from a giraffe. Wait, do giraffes even make milk? What is going on? <laughs> I'm going to squirt it. I don't trust injecting it. It's a sweet-smelling concoction. I must be mistaken, but it looks as if there are weeds growing just under where I squirted it. Hmm. Really now? Okay. I didn't trust it, though. So maybe I made the right decision. Alright, what else do we got here? Labeled Regent Machine, like reanimation? Is this what's causing the dead to rise? Hey, hey, hey! Hey! 
I don't take kindly to this old electricity here. No. 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 Naughty. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going this way. Up. Oh, what do we got? Oh. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, fair enough. No worries for me then. Got more chocolate. There we go. Hmm. I'll go this way instead. Up, oh, more corpses. Ooh, some of them are kind of quick. Oh, fat one. Oh, I am not surprised that will be the ones to explode. It's always the bloated ones. Why can't the thin ones explode? Because they don't have much range distance when it comes to that point. Probably not. Oh, poison. Poison. Okay, let's see. Antidote, please. Okay, there we go. And we'll use a first aid kit there. There we go. Okay, so let's get out of there. Okay. And let's see. All right. Careful with the poison now. There we go. Don't run on the poison. We'll go this way first. Oh, lovely. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Looks like we are going to need a health kit here. Heal that up. There we go. Hmm. Not too much challenge as of late. Well, I kind of struggled with that one boss figure, but... But then I got through it in just a couple of tries, so that's nice. Okay. Antidotes are going to come in handy this time around. Alright. Open that up. Thank you. No. <laughs> you see a locked lab door. It seems it requires a code and a key. Okay. So not quite yet for that one. Let's go in this way. Ooh, a radio. Turn it on. However, as Professor Pinkering has noted, there are deep channels apparent in the moon's surface, strongly suggesting that water does or did flow on its surface, and that the moon may, indeed, have an atmosphere. It is also important to note that half of the moon is perpetually facing away from the Earth in the scrutiny of our telescopes, the so-called dark side of the moon. It may well be that vegetation, even some forms of simple life, exist on lunar surface, and that we may one day be able to view them, or even send radio signals to them. I'm sorry, the thought of life on the moon deeply unsettles me at the moment. What? Oh wait, you regain some of your sanity? Even though it unsettled you when knowing that there could be life on the moon? I don't get that. You would think that would make you more insane. Like, oh, what if those mood men happen to come to Earth and invade us and enslave all of us? I guess, I guess we don't have to worry about that because he, apparently he doesn't mind that in some regards. Well, good on you. Good on you. Ooh, who are you over there? A body on the slab. Examine it. The incisions at first appear surgical, though on all the locations one would expect from an autopsy. Down the center ooh, excuse me, of the chest and the ribs have been spread. As I look closer, however, I see teeth marks around the lungs and heart and nail indentations on the liver and spleen. As if whoever opened this cadaver lost control halfway through and started rending at the flesh. Yay! Okay. It's time for... 
us to uh, have some chocolate. There we go. Eat all the chocolate! There we go. Hopefully, I do not regret that. Now, what about this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. We got a leg. Oh. Hmm. Do I go through there? Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I think we're not doing it in the best place here, right? Oh, I keep stepping in the poison. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yep, the poison's gonna get me. Whoa! Okay, that's a kind of a neat animation there. Oh. Oh, because I... How many of those do I have, actually? Let's see. Ah, uh, it was the only time. Okay. All right. I was thankful that time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's hold off until we s basically gone through some more place. Get myself out of this hole. There we go. I was a little petrified there. Okay, so let's see. So I guess we'll go up here. Okay, place that. Ah, oh, there was nothing inside that entire time. I feel chipped. What a rip. Oh well, can I sleep with all these surgical beds? Probably not. Oh, lovely. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry there. Okay, we okay? We're good? Hopefully. Another empty one! That's two in a row! And that was with a silver key! What a chip! Alright, hopefully I can make up for it with some more exploration. A collection of test tubes and beakers. Looks like they're attempting to extract or render one something. Rendo down something. There we go. The people wrapped up in this thing. Whatever it is. They may be unhinged, but they're not stupid. This is good to find out about all the debt. Alright, so. Looks like we go further over here. Uh, do, 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 do. A help wanted flyer. Hard workers needed for ongoing reservations at Waitley Mansion. Reasonable rates, two breaks a day, signed Earl Sawyer, Dunwich Carpentry. Okay, there we go. Time to go down. More puddles of poison, lovely. Hmm, this body's skull is intact. The other bodies have their brain pans open. Perhaps if I reanimated this one, it would be less violent. I could get some information. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe you can. I don't bloody know. <laughs> maybe we'll come back to this point. Let's see. So let's go down this way and let's go up. Uh, whoo, hello. Azeroth's Curse. Cosmic dust. Okay. Well, hello there. Howdy. I got something grand, it looks like. But, uh... Wait, what did I get? Let's see. Uh, where is it? Where, where... Hmm. Ah, there it is. Vulnerable to all damage. Oh, great! <laughs> I want to take it off! Why did I have to take it? I'm too curious! Ah, uh, bloody hell. Okay. 
Looks like I really screw that one over. Screw you! I'll punch these. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. All right. Where else have I not looked at yet? Mm. Well, let's see. Go down. Can we... Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So down there. Okay. Let's zoom out. Okay. So... Okay, so we haven't been to those portions yet, so I guess I'll go over there. Go down below. And we'll go this way. Alright, you better. Oh, fine. I'll take it. Looks like I don't... Ah, why do I keep poisoning myself? Use... Yeah. Why don't I not look at where I'm walking? Curses. Okay. Oh, okay. Say la vie, say. Oh, see, I almost ran into poison once again. Alright. We'll go down this way then. Oh. There we go. Whew. That was swift. Alright, anything that I can examine around here? Nope. But I'll go this way. Hmm. Oh, storage. Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Could probably store this. And this. And this. And that. Let's see. Do oh yeah, we could probably store that too. And I think that should be good. All right. What else do we have around here? Mm, down below. Oh great. Ah! Who oh, curses? Oh. There we go. Okay. Whoo! Bloody hell. Looks like we need to use one of these. Okay. All right. Are we good? Feel like I'm always clicking off of the screen. I'm getting a little bit anxious when I'm in the middle of battle. Battle. There we go. Wee. All right. Ooh. Who are you there? Uh, in the future, you can store what you want find on the trip. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, so I can buy supplies. Jeez, I can't really buy a whole lot, though, can I? Mm. Yeah, I can't buy any of this. Well, I can buy, be, buy a med pack, but I'm good on those. I can buy keys and grenades. I guess I'll buy a grenade. There we go. And then... Full acid protection. Okay. So, increases stamina. Oh, don't I already have that? Hmm. Okay. Oh, it looks like the Necronomicon there. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Lovely then. Thank you for your wares. Got an antidote. And a golden key. There's a pair of glasses lying here with oddly colored, very thick lenses. Let's try them on. Oh, okay.
That's just what I get when I touch everything in sight. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. An army enlistment sensor, Tasker's Journal. I'll read it. It's mostly just a record of expenses and lists of the numbers of enlist able men in Arkham County. The sensor taker made a note about a few locations, however. The village of Dunwich is described as having young men who are nearly university unsuitable, apparently inbred, possibly affected by toxic substances in the ground or water supply. The town of Innsworth has a high rate of alcoholism despite prohibition. Apparently, an inherited degenerative disease affects the vast majority of young men, although many unsuitable candidates express interest in the Navy. The King of Kingsport rings a bell. He has had a recent influx of Italian, Sicilian, and Irish immigrants, many of whom would be unsuitable, and Arkham also has a note, high school population. I lost part of my sanity from that. That's great. <laughs> Do I have any chocolate bars for that? No. The one time I wish I could use some chocolate bars is not here. How did that make me lose my sanity? Because they were bred with toxins? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Okay. Chocolate? Damn it, no chocolate. No! Alright. I shall go further down then. Let's see. A sheet of soiled paper reading Arkham Asylum Initial Assessment. Hmm. I don't have time for this. In this circumstance, I don't think I have the time. Okay, golden bug and a foot! Golden bug and the foot. Let's go to the next part. Oh. A dead body. Examine it. This cadaver is crisscrossed with sutural scars. Bits of skin seem to have been transplanted from other bodies. Limbs transplanted. Even the eyes are mismatched. What's most disturbing is that the scars from the stitches are fully healed, as some appear fresher than others as if this person underwent many, many unnecessary transplants. I wouldn't have expected someone to be able to live through that many drastic procedures, let alone retain the function of the limbs. Oh, great. I lost more of my sanity by examining that body. How lovely. Oh. Let's see here. There we go. Whew. Uh-oh. Is that a good sign? I hear my heart thump, thump, thumping. Let's see. Probably. Probably because of the... Probably the sanity is... Losing this grip on me from the looks of it. Okay. Yeah. I need chocolate bars and stat. All right, so don't go there quite yet. All right, let's look at the tab here again. Uh, do, 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 do we zoom out here? Okay, there's still a few spots in which I haven't been to yet. So let's backtrack a little bit before we tackle on that abomination. Uh, let's go here. Okay. That might be one of our... Oh, hold on. Let's see, how do we... Let's see what we need to do here. Oh, poison. 
There we go. Up oh, and let's get take out of there and let's. What on earth is going on here? Facts, man, now! Magnificent, isn't it? A true breakthrough. Quite literally, yes. Ha! What? A breakthrough. Don't you see? Through? From beyond. These things, they are breaking through into our four dimensions. Damn it, man! Facts! Not theories or ramblings. What is going on here? Calm yourself, my dear fellow. I am the lead scientist in the top secret team of track re crack researchers. Really pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. That little force field you just saw has been but one of the many fruits of our endeavors. And these creatures? Ah, less welcome fruit, I suppose you might say, yes. Did you know something like this could happen? The mass detection is some um, wild possibilities no one really took seriously, of course. But my dear fellow, there can be no risk too great in the service of knowledge. There can be no moral restrictions on science. Listen, you buffoon. Get out of here now, before more of these things come back. I'll attempt to explore further. If the authorities arrive, tell them ex-detective Murphy is in here and advise them to call for immediate backup. You got that? My dear fellow, but of course! And pass up the future by the lifetime? Ha! <laughs> and they called me mad. Okay. Alright, so we got a new character. The Professor. Alright then. So we can play as the professor in another playthrough if we wanted to. Oops. Here, I better use a one of these again. And let's see. Go back. Okay, where are we now in the map? Guess we can explore a little bit further here. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me put on my uses and we'll go with this. There we go. And, ah. Alright, so don't pull every leather that we have here. Oh, and what did I do? I pulled the leather. And I keep stepping in the poison! Okay. Alright. Let's, uh... Uh, go ahead and heal up a bit more as I care continue to make careless mistakes. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. That was strange. Uh oh. I'm bleeding. Let's, uh. Bandage, please. There we go. And. I swear use this once more. Okay. And get back. Are we good with the Ah There. Alright. Ah! Ah! Oh, 
Up, oh, I'm bleeding. Okay. Uh. Oh no! 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 Ah! Dang it! No! Okay. Ah! Shucks. Shucks. And so many levels. Okay. Let's go to the main menu. So, let's see. Hmm, I guess we can go ahead and continue where we were with... Let's see how far we get, or how far it's saved. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, shoot. There we go. Whew. All right. Do, 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 do. Going all of the... Ah, itchy fingers there. Up, oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, uh, yo, boop. Gonna move myself a little bit over here. There we go. Hmm. Ho ho. Okay. So anything that can be inspected over here? Nope. Oh, who is this? Oh. Well, well, well. Hello there. I know who you are. Most certainly. Mm, let's see. All right, Doctor Bank. And see here, cares every enemy in the room. Oh, that might come in handy. I remember my friends. Increases max HP. Oh, the power of friendship. The power of friendship resides in this game. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. Let's see. The painting of an icy mountain. It's a gorgeous stylized pea with chromatic colors. It depicts an icy Antarctic visage with a mightily mountainous glacier in the center with the suggestion of an almost human expression. One moment it fills me with a sense of awe, the next with the sense that we impose upon natural phenomena our own insecurities and preoccupations. And I am left with the nagging feeling that perhaps nature itself has a has a motive or a mind we are now privy to. Privy to. Yay! Sanity has been reclaimed. Good, 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 good. Okay. Go back over here. We shall continue on with from that direction. And... All right, let's see. Okay, place that. Okay. And there we go. Now, let's look at the tab. Okay, we can go downward. Most certainly can do that. And uh, let's go down here. Up, oh, there's you again. Hello. You're like the ghost of Christmas yet to come. All right. Oh, it is different items this time. Okay. Why is chocolate $1,500? You bloody kidding me? $1,500 for a bar of chocolate? Well, isn't that just dandy? I act to save the whole of humanity. Increases max HP. Full protection against fire. You can see more through it. Okay. I'm going to close because I don't have any of that money right now. 
Okay, I will leave the glasses this time around. No, no, no. There we go. No touching of the glasses. Okay. And we're gonna ignore that, I believe, because it filled me too much with dread the last time. Okay. Uh, there we go. No. Enough of that. Okay, we were here. Okay, I need to regain my health quite in the jiffy here. No, why you fool? Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. There we go. Use it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, lovely. Hello. Okay. There we go. Anything else around here that I can be free with? Nope. Ow. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right, do we have the key? Chocolate! Huzzah! Ah, bloody hell. Every time I seem to always want to walk in the puddle. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, here we go. Use this. There. There we are. All right. Where have I missed now? Hmm. Well, looks like we need to go a little bit down further. Oh, fast travel. That's a nice feature, actually. Okay, what do we got around here? Uh, I don't have time for this. Yes, I don't have time for that at all. Okay. 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 So let's uh, grab one of these packs. Nope, not that one. Use this one. There we go. And... That should do it. I hope. Alright. Oh, let's search the skeleton. How that skeleton is able to hide chocolate and a doctor bag is beyond me. Alright. We shall ignore this. I remember that from last time. Alright, so let's see. Are we missing anything else in particular? Or do have it looks like we have searched the entire well, it looks like we're going to have to... Yep, we're going to have to go fight that boss now. Alright, here we go. Are we ready? I don't know if we are. Are you just going to shoot? Dang it, up. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Yep. Oh, shoot. Bloody hell. Okay. 
I think I'm going to try this one one more time and see if we are able to uh, beat this. Hopefully. Or maybe a few times, depending on where they place me. Oh, they placed me right here, of all things. There was no save point there. That stinks. Okay. Here's you again. Uh... Nope. We don't have enough money for any of these. I don't even have enough money for body armor. Shoot. That's one of the things we need, isn't it? Well, confound it. Shucks. Okay. Okay, so. Let's go down. There we go. Let go down below. And hello. There we are. And place this key in here for the silver lock. Up. Oh. Uh, use the chocolate. There we go. Chocolate is dealt with. Has oh yes. There we go. Okay. That does it for you. We'll go down this way. Okay. Okay. So I gotta remember, don't pull any of the levers. Don't pull any of the levers, because that does nothing, except send blobs your way. Nope. Don't have that key. Okay. Let's see now. What's down here? Looks like more things. Up, oh, can't go to that. Nope. Pass a little bit further. Let's go up in the upper corners. See what we got. Thinking more chess. Oh, let's check here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Now can we get to this? Nope. We don't have that key. Ah, shucks. Okay. Another time then. Well, do I dare face the enemy again? Might as well. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh, shoot. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, hold on here. There we go. Oh, hold on. 
You see it? Ah, no! Bloody hell, I was so close! I just needed to cure my poison! Ah! Oh, that... I just had it! Does this mean... Ah... Uh, bloody hell, that... Let's see. I'm gonna see where it leads me off. It's, it's, it isn't in the same spot as I was before. Ah! Oh, no! Oh! Ah! 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 <sighs> okay. I'm gonna give this one last go and see what transpires here. I... I... Oh, great, great. <laughs> Just when I say that... Okay, use that, please. Okay, there we go. And... Okay. Place that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hopefully we can get a good... Hold on everything going on here. There we go. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Ah. <sighs> okay. That was close. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way. And it's you again, but I'm gonna go through here and here first. There we go. There's normally something different each and every time. Okay, let's see. Yep. Looks like it's uh, different things. Ooh, a Tommy gun. Well, I wish I had the money for that, most certainly. Uh, but I don't. Shucks. Shucks, shucks, and more shucks. Okay. Don't try on those. No. No. Nuh-uh. Don't even think about it. No. No. And don't read that either. Nope. Ignore it. Ignore it. You don't want to read his pages. Alright. Okay. Got some more stuff here. Okay, maybe... There. Now, let's see. No chocolate! Dang it! No chocolate! Because I know that look like I've gone a little bit insane here. Alright, let's see. Don't read that. Don't read it at all. Don't be fooled. Okay. Oh. There we go. Whew. Okay. Let's uh, use some of my... There we go. Use that up. And get back into the game. All right. Open up this door. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. I've already tried that situation. And I'm not going to fall for it again. No. <laughs> okay. Now in here. Don't go in there yet. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's go back to where we were prior. I'm gonna continue. S you know what? Screw it. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay. Okay, we are dead. We are dead! Why? Ah! Okay. Yeah, we're dead. There's no way getting out of this. 
We are gonna be suckled alive. Yep, just let me die. Let my flesh be ground anew. <laughs> yeah, that was foolish of me. That was foolish. Oh. Okay. So I think... I think I'm gonna get... Uh, play more of this game, honestly. I think I'm gonna try out this game some more starting next week. Uh, because I feel like this game does have some unique possibilities. And I just need to get a hang of, you know, actually exploring everything and watching where I step. Because I always seem to step in acid. So, with that out of the way, thank you ever so everyone for stopping by my short stream tonight.